Hey everybody and welcome back to RoomWorg TV presents Permadeath Play. My name is James Tucker, I'm the columnist for Streaming Cemetery and the host of this Let's Play series, I guess. Just in case you don't know about us already, um, we're an extension of RoomWorg's game review column. Please stop zooming in and out of focus camera, you're fucking me up. And what we do here is we play horror games, usually indie horror games made by up-and-coming developers, and we give you our opinion on them. Let you know which ones you should play and which ones you should avoid. So I'm excited because this is the first permadeath play I've recorded in a little while. Resident Evil 8 is out as of the recording of this video. Fantastic game, highly recommend it. I know some people have their problems with it, but it's probably one of my favorite entries in the series. Up there with um, 4, I think. Just because of so many reasons that I might try and find a way to do a video about later. Um, even though that's not really my thing, this channel's niche. But today, in honor of Resident Evil 8, since we don't really have the time to do longer playthroughs on this channel. Um, we're going to be doing three survival horror games from the new Dreadx collection, which is structured pretty much exclusively around the theme of survival horror. I'm really interested in playing this. I've been interested in playing it for a while. I'm a huge fan of the Dreadx collections. If you haven't checked them out, highly recommend them. Lots of talented developers coming together to make some really unique games. They use the theme as like a jumping off point, and they always manage to create something really unique, something that, in my opinion, is really worth playing. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what they're gonna do with the survival horror thing, because I don't know if you guys know this, and you might not, because I don't think I've said it on this channel, but survival horror is my favorite subgenre of horror games. I don't know what it is about it, if it's the resource management, or if it's the ability to fight back against the monsters that are trying to eat you that I really like, but I really, really fucking love them, and I cannot wait to see what's going to be in this next Red X collection. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much everything. Remember um, to like, subscribe, interact with the video, let me know that you're out there, that you exist, and that this isn't just a coked up fever dream inspired by the year I've been in quarantine. Anyway, let's get rolling. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, took forever, but here I am. I don't know what it is uh, with OBS and the Dread X collections, but for whatever reason, they do not go well together. Anyway, enough of me complaining. Dread X collection, The Hunt. We're in. I'm only going to uh, play the games on free play mode. There is a story mode that connects all four of the Dread X collections now, um, but I'm not really here for that, and especially for people who haven't seen the story in the other Dread X collections, I don't really want to start you at the fourth chapter, so I'm just going to do free play mode, play a few of the games, we'll see where that takes us. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. Axis Mundi by Philip Hesselbeck. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Okay. We've got Kira by who? No, Uktena 64 by Akuma Kira. Okay. Rose of Meat by Mr. Pink. Ah, a game from Vitus Games. They always show up in these Dread Collections. Usually they come up with some pretty cool, weird shit. I might not play that one this time, though. I've been playing a lot of Vitus Games for the channel. Black Relic. Oh, that looks good. By Torpal Duke. The Fruit by Christopher Yabsley, and The House of Unrest by Dan McGrath. So what I'm probably going to play in this game is Black Relic, The House of Unrest, and I might play... I'm going to play Rose of Meat, because that just sounds really fucking weird. All right, let, let's get into it. A few moments later. Okay, everybody, welcome to Rose of Meat. I had to fuck around with it a bit to get it <clears throat> the way I wanted to get it. But I think we're good now, so let's jump into it. New game. Maybe? Oh, I didn't like that at all. Mouse sensitivity is fucking low. Hold on. Let me see if I can mess with that real quick. Please? Game pa There we go. 
mouse sensitivity. Let's bring that motherfucker. All right, that's a little bit better. I got a bottle. Give me more. A book. Just called book. Right mouse button to zoom. Once upon a time, there was an old grandmother, a laughing granddaughter, a clownfish, clownfish hen, and a little mouse. Okay. Every day they went to fetch, fetch water. The grandmother had big buckets, the granddaughter had smaller ones. The children had a cucumber-sized bucket, and the mouse had a thimble. The grandmother took water from the wall, the granddaughter from the log, the chicken from the puddle, and the mouse from the footprint of the pig's hoof. They took some water, went home through the garden, and in the garden an apple tree grew, and apples hung on it, and under the apple tree the hare was sitting. A breeze flew over the apple tree, swayed the apple tree, banged the apple, and on the bunny's forehead. That's a weird sentence. The English major in these kind of a little bit at that. A bunny jumped, but right under the feet of the water carriers. They got scared, threw the buckets, and ran home. The, the grandmother fell on the bench. The granddaughter hid behind the grandmother. The chicken flew up on the stove, and the mouse hid under the stove. The grandma gro gro groans, Oh, the bear almost crushed me. Bear? I don't see a... I, I was looking real quick to see if I... Anyway. The granddaughter's crying, Grandma, what a terrible wolf ran into me. Oh. The chicken on the stove clucks, Co, co, co. The fox crept up and almost digested me. And the mouse from under the stove squeaks, It was a huge mustachioed cat. Here I have endured fear. And the bunny ran into the forest, lay down under a bush, and thought, What a horror! Four hu hunters were chasing me, all with dogs. It's good that I'm so swift. They say the truth. Fear has big eyes. They can't even see what isn't... They, can, they even see what isn't there. Interesting. Take a look around real quick. Like that? That purple glow in the corner? Is that not there? Uh, okay, I don't like that. Round three. A shoe, and I can't move. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Um... Oh! Well, this is normal. There's that pink glow again. What is going on in this game? Oh, they're eyeballs! And naked man? Woman? Person? Okay, can I talk to you? Only I know what's going on here! I sure as hell don't, so you're right about that. What the fuck? Can I... What? What? I see eyes. I don't think I can do anything about those eyes. Don't ask, knowledge will only make it worse for you. But with a revolver, everything is always easier. Do you agree? Oh! I guess I agreed! Do I need to shoot you? Do I want to shoot you? Guys, this game is weird. I've got six bullets. I'm not wasting them on the eyes, even though I desperately want to. Oh, I can make it flip when I run. All right. Okay, I guess I gotta go talk to you next. Is that the plan? <sighs> Guys, this is really weird. I knew I was signing up for something strange, but not, not this weird. Can I, can I go? Ooh, I can go up you. Can I talk to you? 
Try it too. Praying to Rose might help you. Pray with me. Just close your eyes for a second. You silently chanted a... Tab. My boat washed up on the shore of an unknown island. The boat is gone. I don't want to be stuck here until the end of time. The way I'm playing the game right now, just so you guys know, the bottom part of the screen is cut off a little bit. So if I can't read shit, that's why. Lady in red. I wonder if you'll do any different. Let me guess. The big hand grabs you and now you're here, right? Oh, and your boat sank? What a story. Very unique. No, really? You're not a fisherman, are you? A real fisherman lives here on the island. Maybe he could get you out on his boat. I'll tell you where he is if you find my shoe. I lost my right shoe while I was walking along the beach. At the time when I could wear shoes, that was my favorite one. Why can't you wear shoes? It looks like you can wear shoes. Okay, you don't have any new dialogue. Thanks. Um, I thought there was more, but apparently there wasn't. Let's see what happens if I go down here. I That's super weird, too. I just kind of floated down here. Am I supposed to be back here? Or did I fuck myself? I think I fucked myself. No, I didn't. Okay, there's a way out. Cool, 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 cool. I see a red shoe. Lady shoe. Lady in red lost her shoe while walking along the beach. She will help me if I help her. I... Hello? Should I be concerned about you? I'm not going to shoot you. Not yet. I don't like how he's looking at me, though. I'm just going to flip my gun and run. That's it. Just flip my gun and run. Hello? What is that? Oh, it's just another shoe. I thought it was something interesting. No offense, lady in red. Oh, that's a something. That's a bad something. Nope, you didn't see me. You just keep doing what you're doing. Guess I'll take that, thank you. Number of the beast. I see something sparkling, but it, it, it's probably just the shoe. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Hmm. What is that? I'm so grateful! All my friends are here with me. Praying to Rose might help you. I'll pray with you. I am... Dude, what the fuck is going on in this game? Nothing worries me. Praying to Rose might help you. Just close your eyes for a second. Oh fucking shit! Hi. You don't see me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to be scared, but what the fuck is this shit right here? All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. You didn't see me. Okay. I'm gonna conserve my ammo. I'm not gonna waste it on the likes of you. What? What was that? I have a lot of questions. I feel like they're not going to be answered in full. Right? Because that would be... That'd be too easy. This game isn't going to let me off the hook. How do I... Okay, so that's how I step back. How do I close my eyes? Have I been fucking up this whole time? No. Okay. Good to know. Just checking. I'm so happy. Yeah, sure. Okay. Does praying to Rose bring those things closer? Also, how did I... How did I end up here? Back where I was. Oh, I gotta talk to you. My red baby barrel is your best friend. Well, hi, best friend. 
His highest goal is to eat a bullet and explode with the fire of joy. Before that, I suggest you pray with me. Okay, alright. I don't like how they move. For no goddamn reason. Okay. Boom! Okay. Good job, best friend. Alright. Getting a bit action packed here. Is that the shoe? Is that the shoe? What is the shoe? Talk to the shoe, kid! Alright. What's up? You're alone in the woods. You don't get it, right? <coughs> I'm sorry, that voice is fucking killing my throat. Let me walk you back to where you came from. Agreed. Fine, lead the way. I agree. I can scratch your back if that's not too disgusting for you. I don't want that. I don't. Is that her foot, too? When did she lose her foot? Okay, I... This is all unimportant. I'm gonna go... Back the way I came, I guess. Even though I feel like there are gonna be monsters down there now. Can I... I can press Q to switch. Alright, we'll stick with you for now. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Hi, my name is Dick! Did you know that your revolver is garbage? Thanks, man. The only thing you can kill with it is red barrels with eye... Red barrels with eyeballs. I heard... Oh! Oh, shit. Sorry, tutorial man, I gotta go. Did you guys like my Markiplier impression? I've been working on it for years. I don't think it's following me. Okay, let's 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 just fucking go. I don't want any part of whatever that was. Didn't hope to see you again. Didn't hope to not see you either. Do you enjoy my shoe? You can have it. Just remember the shoe is not a weapon for you, it's a tool. So the fisherman's name is Gun. He lives further down the road. If you can call that a living. Gun is a good guy. That scared the fuck out of me. Okay, Gun is a good guy. He is also a builder and carpenter. Really big manly man. You'll find him a bit weird. Gun is a good guy. He is also... Okay, that, thanks. Tab. Strange find. I found something like a shoe. Gotta return it to the leading red. Okay. House down the road. He can help me with the boat. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. Nothing destroy my ladder, please. And I'm guessing I'm still following the shoes. Am I going up or down? Let's go up this way, just for fun. I haven't been up here yet. Yeah, I'm heading the right way. Oh, fuck off. I'm, dead. I'm good, everybody. I'm good. This is just very unnerving. I don't like it. I'm so lonely. I've lost my red barrel, child. I'm willing to explode. Oh. Nobody take that audio and do anything ungodly with it. Just give me a reason. I prayed a rose for you. Could be able to solve this incredibly. That's not how sentences work, but that's okay. You use the leg to create a new meat person and then shoot the barrel. Oh, in the, in the shoe. Oh! Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay. Oh, that's not a barrel. I did what you told me to do. Why haven't you exploded? But I did... Fuck. I did that. I did that, though. You showed up too late. The chick has already turned into a pumpkin, bro. What? Oh. Well, 
that's horrible. What if I kept going? Bigger. More meat people! Okay. This might kill me, but if it does, it's worth it. You ready? It did not kill me. Okay, that's good. Let me just go back to holding my, my emotional support leg. That was fucking weird. Also... Yes. Hey. Game, stop lagging. Oh, it just, it just creates them anywhere. Well, that's awful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead... I thought if I created enough of them, maybe I could destroy the... the eye. I thought maybe that's what the game wanted me to do, but... Oh! I'm sorry, I will refrain from doing my Markiplier impression again. Holy shit. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Am I supposed to kill you? Am I supposed to... Can I go... Can I go in? Fisherman. I would appreciate it if I could go... don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can I hurt them with the red boys? Hello, strange meat person. And a house! That came out of nowhere. No, you can't see me. Is he building the houses? He's building the houses. Can I go in the eye? I cannot go in the eye, although that was a cool visual effect. That I'm happy I got to saw it got to see. Got to saw, fuck me. Appears to be the way. Does Big Shoe still point me places I need to go? Yes, it does. Okay. Good, 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 good. Alright. I really, the spinning of the shoe is getting kind of, uh, not the shoe, the gun is getting kind of annoying. But here I am. I'm just gonna run and not look back because the gun can't hurt them. I'm not sure if anything can. Hey! I found you! Stacking baby heads. Hello, gun. As a builder with great experience, I'd say it's better not to strengthen houses with heads. But there isn't much choice. <laughs> Maybe Rose will see how hardworking I am and she'll fall for me. I tried everything. There was enough time, you know. Listen, if you want to get off the island, I can help. I have, um, let's say a boat. It needs to be patched up with wood, but I ran out of it long ago. Don't look at these pines. They're not wood. Ha ha ha. 
Anyway, find three pieces of wood and carry them to the beach. The island will guide you, don't worry. I... Something went up out of the eye into the sky. That is... Perfectly in line with everything else I've seen here so far. Why would I be shocked or surprised? I should just accept this game for, like, the bad drug trip that it is. Hi. Hey, I, I, I would... I would appreciate it if you didn't, sir. Is it just doing a jig? In the middle of the street, probably. Oh, hey, Dick. Yeah, I know Dick. Did you know that conversation is the best medicine? Many on this island pray to Rose. Pray with them if your eyes hurt. So pray with the islanders if you want to heal yourself. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh my God. 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 Fucking Christ. Okay. I thought it was just doing a happy little jig by itself. I didn't think it had anything to do with me. I guess I'm hurt. Let me see if I can create some of it. I need to run. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What frozen freaks? Oh, these. Oh, well. Oh, okay. I thought it's gonna be a loading screen or something, but no. Am I still in the same place I was before? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Bitch spawned out of nowhere. Okay, I know what frozen freaks are talking about. Now that's good. Give me ammo. Hey, Dick. Explosive barrels do explosions. You have a degree? Yes, okay, okay. Got, got it, got it, thank you. Oh, oh. Maybe that is an explosive barrel guy. I just need to run. I can't with this. Hey, everybody. Uh, so, guess what happened? Basically, my computer, because I was messing around with some OBS stuff while I wasn't recording, I was trying to make things run a little bit smoother, a little bit better, make myself less of an amateur YouTuber, whatever. You know, you know how it is. And I forgot that my OBS was set to record, but it was set to like a default recording path, which is on my main hard drive, which is full of shit that I can't get removed. So half of that video didn't get recorded. So unfortunately, um, I'm gonna be playing the game again. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see how this goes. I am really angry. Okay. I think I'm in the forest. This will be about where I lost last time. Or lost all the footage. I'm so irritated right now, man. I hate it when shit like that happens. Oh. Yeah, we're in the forest. Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright. Nothing popped up. Either I was running too fast for things to spawn, or... You know, uh, I didn't shoot as many people, so I'm fine. Hey. Oh, that's kind of cool. I never noticed that about Dick before. <laughs> Okay, so we're back where we were before. I'm ready to give this another shot. I do love this game. I'm just a little irritated right now that that happened. Like, you guys are going to miss my first reaction to a lot of crazy shit. And now it's just going to be, oh yeah, there's that. There's that. Anyway, here's this um, Paul Bunyan looking motherfucker. Hey, gun. Okay, okay. First the boat, then the wedding. Bring me three wooden logs. Ask the old wit woman w wooden 
Ask the old wooden women. They know all about that for sure. Okay. I know where they are. I don't have to... Did Dick say anything significant? I love and hate these characters. Um, especially Dick. So, I have the arm. Wrong one. I have the arm. You don't scratch my back, Lady Shoe. And now I gotta go here, and this is the hardest part in the game, in my opinion. This is the one where I was feeling like the most tense. Because there are these weird things that might spawn literally anywhere. Called Women of the Woods. And they kinda sorta snack on children, and I think some lore that Dick was supposed to share, or Paul Bunyan was supposed to share with me that they didn't this time around, is that after they eat children, they deposit their remains in the forest, and that's why you get these like weird ass looking meat trees. What the fuck? Hi, Dick. Yes, thank you. Um, where? Where are they? They were all right here last time. And now I'm having trouble finding one. Maybe. Also, it's kind of cool how objects, like the buildings, and even like some of these, they can just spring up wherever and then disappear just as quickly. Or, or move in really annoying ways right around you. Okay, so they're clearly not here, so it's time to go- oh. Or, 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 fucking shitballs, stop! God damn it. Escape. I hit escape on accident, and they fucking killed me. I was trying to switch to my gun. That's annoying. Okay. I need to, like, switch that button. Somehow. Or somewhere. Hey, it's one of them. The old witch ladies. Okay, where's your barrel? Oh, it's gone. I know he said don't shoot him, but I need him to get closer. Okay, and it's gone. It's gone, 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 it's gone. Holy fuck. I know. Okay. This is actually a good place to do my thing. Come on. Come into being. Got it! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! It's so much easier when you get one of them just out of the woods by themselves. Otherwise, because they just spawn in randomly. They show up wherever the game wants them to show up. And, like, you could be completely alone, waiting in the middle of the woods for like a solid minute with nothing and no one around you, and then have to deal with one of these motherfuckers just showing up and ruining your whole week right behind you. And I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not getting to show you guys that this time around. Maybe I'll include some footage. No, I don't have footage. Maybe... Uh, just the audio itself probably wouldn't be all that entertaining, would it? Damn, man. I hate having to do shit like this. Alright. So we got two, we just need one more, and then we can move on from the forest. Let's see. Where are they? They usually show up... Ah! I didn't even shoot you, though! Why are you being a dick? Doesn't matter, because you're dead. Motherfucker. Ah, ah. That, was, that was cool, right? That was Bruce Campbell-esque. Okay, that's done. Hardest part of the game over with, and they didn't put up much resistance this time. I like how he's just fucking jittering, like he's ready to go. Okay, so it was a necessity if you want to leave the island. Now about my fee for the help. I'm surprised you're asking for more. I'm not the prettiest guy or the most nice talking, but I'm a good old working hard fella who wants to marry Rose. The thing is, her mother is pretty rough. No kidding. You look like a smart guy. How about you speak to her mother? 
Tell her how good and hardworking I am, that I deserve to be her daughter's husband. Okay. Yeah, that's just repeated dialogue. It's hard to tell sometimes, because it doesn't just naturally end. You just cycle through it until you see something you've seen before. But I think it's funny he's telling me to go tell Mother that he's hardworking. When in actuality, he's done jack-fucking-shit this entire game. Yeah. You're hardworking, dude. I mean, I went and got all the wood for you and killed all the wood witches, but yeah, you're the one who deserves the praise. What is that? Oh. You see that shit? That shit happens all the time. I swear, last time I was up here, I saw a bed appearing and disappearing, and I thought it was something. Apparently not. Let me heal real quick. Be I'm your magic wand. Be careful with where you shove me in. Please do not put me up your ass. Is that fucked up? Probably. Okay. I feel better. What is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Who? Why? Why? You've never shown up before. Not up here, fucker. Ah, God. Damn it. I'm just gonna run. Ah. Oh. Okay, there she is. I'm gonna heal first, though, because I don't trust. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Fuck that. Fuck this. This game does a lot to throw you off balance, and I really appreciate that. Oh. Even though now that I kind of know what's going on, it's not quite as suspenseful. Hey, you could... you could not, sir. You could just not. That would be... I am... Sorry, game. You've never done any of this before. Why are you doing it now? I'm hiding. Go over there. Okay. Can I talk to her without getting eaten? It looks stuck. I'm gonna assume the answer to that question is yes. Oh! Oh, it disappears when I talk to her. That's good. Oh, the little hero, man. I was watching you this whole time. So the old coward is asking for the hand of my daughter again. You would be a better husband for her. At least you, were, at least you wasn't scared coming here. Anyway... Only the brave heart deserves her. Whoever gets a spider's head will have the right to take the rose. Nothing changes throughout the years. Tell the old coward cheating wouldn't work. If he wants a rose, he should bring me the head of the spider. Go now. Okay, I'll go. Ooh, I'm ready for this fight. Fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I'm not even saying the words now, I'm just like, fuck off. Fuck off. Alright, what's up? Can I not talk to you from where I am? I'm so happy. All my friends are here with me. I'll pray, I'll pray to Rose for sure. Gun. But you didn't convince the old uh, hag, eh? Did you even try? Oh, never mind. She still wants to barter your, her daughter for a spider's head, right? Mm. I doubted for years, but with your help, I have a chance. Mm. Guess you still owe me, right? Gun wants to join the party? I'll let him. And head spider time. Head spider time. Head spider time. There it is. Oh. All right. Knocked it down a peg already. This is good. Just look at that thing. I fucking love this game. Oh, okay. I prefer it if you didn't do that, sir. Okay. 
We're doing all right. We're doing okay. I can maybe kill this with just the bullets I've got. Let's see. Okay. All right. Stood still for too long. Doesn't look like... Oh, God. It doesn't look like it has a barrel on it. Or if it does, the barrel's underground, and that doesn't help me. Oh, that has ammo. Yes. I'll take that. Why? Why aren't you giving me barrels? It's the only way to injure this thing is with barrels. Yes. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. There we go. 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 Is that Paul Bunyan or the spider itself? Because I don't think he does jack shit in this fight except walk around looking creepy. walking through the spider, which is probably not something I should be able to do, but whatever. Nice. Almost done. Almost finished. Alright, come here. Come here, head spider. Die, motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'll probably cut that, unless I don't. And now here's this guy. And I just want you all to watch what's happening here for a second. Hello, gun. He is a monster. Cool. I'm slightly better. Slightly better is good. We're almost at the end. We just gotta bring the head back to mama. We'll be good. Apologies for any lagging on y'all's end. The game is lagging pretty hard on mine, too. Just because... I don't know. Probably because Gun's freaking the fuck out. Oh my god. Gun. I don't want to be inside you. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mother? Hello again, little hero man. Gun! Gun! I see. Old coward gathered the spider's head. Tell me, is it really he who did all the work? He can't even make two steps straight. Do you think he's worthy of my daughter? I'll tell the truth. No! Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Now, when I first did this, uh, it's important that you understand I ran around like a chicken with its head cut off because I didn't know you were supposed to grab the boat. I thought it was just run away. Get the fuck out of town before she starts smashing you too. But that is not what this is. He supposedly was carrying the boat with him. Which is kind of weird, but I guess he wanted to make sure you couldn't get away before you did what you were supposed to do. I can't see anything. I can't see the way out. I'm going to take this off. Don't kill me. Okay. I'm guessing that's the way out. Straight ahead. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Either I'm getting there or I'm just running all the way around the perimeter of the map. Get me. Oh my god, 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 I don't like it. Yes, okay, I found the way. It took a while, but I found the way. We're good. We don't have much further to go. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. I am everything. I'm healed up. And now it's the woman we met earlier. The lady in red. I envy you. You can easily run away at any moment. You don't even need a boat for this. I'll stay here forever. Gun will never marry me. Even the great island keeper is just a prisoner. So is she Rose? Nothing will ever change. None of us can influence anything. Even you can't, despite your free will. Interesting. Are you as special in your homeland as you are here? No. Interesting. And that's all she has left to say. And you can't really see it, but her leg Actually, I guess you can. 
Her leg stretches out that way. Anyhow, goodbye, Rose. <laughs> oh, she just says interesting a few more times. That's a shame. You are free to leave anytime. Escape the island. You escaped. Right? Did I escape? You know I can't take you home, right? Our place is here. None of us can leave. But you have to move on. Where is your home, anyway? Maybe you're already there? Tell the truth. I still don't quite get this. The truth is not what you want to know. And I can't... Oh, I can. I can't walk, but I can look around. And that's it! Rows of meat. Great game. I'm going to talk more about it later. I'm just going to... I hated having to play it twice in this video. I think my... I think the first time I played it, I was genuinely terrified of everything that was coming. I didn't understand any of it. I didn't know what to expect. It was wild. The second time I played through, it was kind of... I went through the motions. And the first time I played, I also made a lot more mistakes because sometimes the way forward is not all that easy to see in this game. But overall, I really like it. I think it's surreal as fuck. I think it's got some really um, interesting characters, a good sense of humor to it, and it's so fucking bizarre and so random. And the randomly generated aspects of it make it even scarier because, as I mentioned in the forest scene, you guys didn't get to see much of it because, again, my camera stopped recording. But when I was trying to trap the witches in the first playthrough, every time I'd go into the forest, like, there'd be nothing and then two of them would spawn behind me and just absolutely wreck my shit. Um, so, whether that's a problem or whether that's a good thing, I don't know. I think it could be balanced a little bit better, but I'm going to save most of my thoughts about this game for the end of the video. So, anyway, let me transition you over to whatever comes next. Next game, end of the video, I don't know. Okay, so we're giving this another shot, even though I'm still kind of pissed at my computer for what happened last time. We're going to be playing Black Relic. I don't remember who the dev is. I'm going to um, credit them at the end of this portion of the video. Um, I'm ready to get into it. I have no idea what it's about. Let's go. Torpal Duck. There you go. Cool. Makes it easy. Alright. Let's see what we got. I am so excited. I don't know why, but this is giving off huge The Ritual vibes t for me. Sorry about the yawning. I'm just always tired. Yes! Cult game! Yes! I am ready! Okay. I swear to God, the games that are in these collections may just be some of the best indie games being released nowadays. And I haven't even fucking started yet. Look at this shit. Press E to advance dialogue and interact. Use WASD or left stick to move. Use mouse or right stick to aim. 
Apologies, Brother Silence. I would not disturb any monk on the most holy eve of commitment, least of all one of your stature. I pray I did not rouse you from divine revelation. Father Theodore has requested your presence in the chapel. He is finishing up the final canticle shortly. Can I... Is there anything in here I can... I can grab? Probably not. Alright, let's go to the canticle. Press lift sh left shift while moving to run. Press left shift while moving backwards to turn around. You can change control options in the pause menu by pressing escape. Okay. Now that I've confirmed that everything is recording the way it should be, let's go. Uh, that's not the way I wanted you to run. Brother! <laughs> I'm sorry. Brother Silence! I did not expect to see you stray from your quarters. To be attending to matters of the flesh. <laughs> As I'm sitting on him. During the eve of commitment. The need must be dire indeed. Yes. Yes it is. The need is dire indeed. Okay, I promise I'm going to stop with the sex jokes. Press E to speak to Monk. Seems a lot of vagrants saw fit to ambush Brother Philip's caravan. Slaughtered all but him. He's been ranting about them having red eyes in the heads of a stag. Poor wretch. Mind completely shattered. Now sensitivity doesn't seem to be as sharp as I would want it to be. Hold, brother. Tis black as pitch outside. Pray, his hasten to Scrivener Nathaniel's chamber, for he always keeps spare lanterns for nocturnal scrivening. Then may you be permitted outside the walls of the monastery. This is going to be a long game, which means this is going to be a really long video, and I'm sorry about that. Now where? Weevils in the bread again, worms in the orchard, and that missing child. Foul corruption has been creeping into this place. We best stay vigilant. Noted. Ain't so bad living around here. Just give me my three squares and I'll give thee my three prayers. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, cool. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, you have talked to. What is with that? It's just freaking out. Whenever I try to change direction quickly. I suppose this isn't a game that's really meant for that. Scrivener. Scrivener. May the divine grant us resolution in our holy charge. May he see fit for the black relic. I said the name to forever slumber. May the divine grant us fortitude to face the dark one should he ever return. And may he grant mercy on our souls shall we ever falter. Someone's a little self-serious. Hey, brother Silence! I swear, I was just... Oh, whatever. It's not like thou can speak a word against me. With all the elders cloistered in prayer, the ale room is ripe for the picking. I even saw the Scrivener elf himself to a pint. Sure, okay. That doesn't sound smart. This must be the key to Scrivener and Nathaniel's chamber. It seems Ale makes a fine companion for any monk, even a Scrivener. He shall be glad to see the key return to him. No, we're going to sneak into his room, probably. Because he's not going to be there. He's going to... Or if he is there, he's probably going to be fucking dead. Because that's just... Okay. That's just how these things seem to go. Note to self, don't get too close to the walls while running. These games are great, but they're not always perfect, you know? And they're not really meant to be. Like, I'm finding the controls a bit clunkier than I would like. As I, like, try to... If, so, after I let go of the key, he keeps running for a minute. Which is not awesome. But whatever. Alright, let's go in. Hey, Scrivena. Ah, brother! Tis good to have company, and bearing my lost key as well. Word hath reached me that Father Theodore hath summoned thee to the chapel. Here, take my lantern. Thou shalt need it in the glo growing gloom outside. 
Besides, I no longer need my eyes to script to transcribe the holy text. I suppose that's fair. When do I get a gun? Give me a gun, brother. This lantern shall be my light when all other lights go out. Hold right mouse button to aim the lantern. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Very cool, actually. Let's see what's in here before we go any further. The door to the reliquary. Deep within lies the black relic. My sworn charge is to protect it with my life. Sealed five centuries ago, only Father Theodore possesses the key, and he's out there getting raided by uh, the goat heads, so that's probably not great. Let's go! This is my health bar. Lose it all and you're dead. Pretty straightforward. If your health is low, you can hold F to pray for healing. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Okay. Can I not? Okay. I can. But... Okay, that's, that's my attack, it would seem. Oh, hi. We really need to get someone to fix the leak in this roof. It's as if the rain cares not that the roof is even there. I can see that. Um, where to? I'm guessing... Oh, hey. These guys don't have lanterns. I mean, I guess this guy's got the fire. Well, well, well. If it isn't Brother Silence out of his chamber at last... Pray tell, brother, have thou noticed anything suspicious about the Order's newest members? I cannot help but wonder if something dark now lurks among us. Probably. We are in a horror game. Oh, I can't move while I'm aiming the lantern. That's good to know, too. I can't talk to any of these guys, I'm guessing. Ah. Brothers, the Eve of Commitment is upon us again. Tis time we take our sacred vows and reaffirm our oath to keeping darkness from overtaking the world of man. Even among such holy occasions, tonight is holiest of holies. For tonight marks 500 years since the banishing and sundering of the Dark One, and 500 years since our slaying of the vile Master. And though the world would slumber in peace with the death of the two great evils, our betrayals of the Master's truce forever marked our souls. Today we cast ourselves before God and commit ourselves to penance. Forever after, this order shall be the keepers of the Black Relic. What were you up to this point? And the silent monk, its guardian. As if summoned by the Divine himself. Welcome, brother. Grant us your prayers, faithful, as I have important matters to discuss with Brother Silence. Bring that down just a bit. Brother Silence, I bear grave tidings. Rumors from the east tell tale of a young wizard who has uncovered a fell grimoire of incantations. I pray this not be portent of the master's return. Here, take my key. Go to the reliquary within the monastery. The monastery. We must be certain the black relic is secure. May he bless and keep you. Can I have a gun? Yeah, he, he said a key. This will open up the doors to the reliquary basement. I'll just take it with me. But we already knew that. It mentioned aiming, and it also has a health bar. That little blood clot at the uh, right bottom corner of the screen. So I know I'm going to be shooting something soon. I just want to. I just want to shoot something, you know also known as, what, half of Americans? Is that funny? Probably not. All right, reliquary. Yes, take me to, to, to church. Okay, is it gonna be gone? It's gonna be gone. Ooh, deep down underground. I don't like this. <sighs> mm. 
I don't like this at all. Here it is, the Sacred Ark. Within lies the accursed Black Relic, the source of my bloodline's curse and my holy charge. May it still be undisturbed. It's the Tesseract. Oh, well. I guess that's me done then, huh? How much you guys want to bet that the high priest or whatever is in league with the cultists? And he sent me down here to free it. Ugh, my head. The relic is gone. Flames lick the corner of the room. Something foul clings to the air. I must return to the chapel. Uh, yeah. No shit. Let's go. Oh, God. Wait, hold on. Can I do that again? Ah. Interesting. Okay. Moving on. Oh. If I can shove that thing if it gets too close. Uh. Come here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go. Alright. I've bullied him enough. Time to go. Thy soul is not thine own. It belongs to me, the demon. The monastery is lost. The relic has been taken. Here, take my crossbow. Use it to hunt down whoever stole the relic. Use ammo crates like the one just outside to refill your ammo. Thou must reach the village and seek help from the village elder. Go now. My time has come. Press R to load crossbow. Press left mouse button left mouse button while aiming to shoot. Press Q to swap equipment. Perfect. Okay. Yes, I think I will. Man, it takes forever for this priest to do things. Boop! Oh, that sucks. This is awesome. I've got a crossbow now. Uh. 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 Move! Good thing these guys fucking suck at killing me. Come here. Boop! Okay, so I gotta take these guys on one by one. That's gonna be a bit annoying, but I think I can manage. And of course all the priests are dead. I don't know why I did that. It's just a habit I have in survival horror games to refill whenever I get the chance, even if my ammo is full. It's not something I, I think about much. It's just something I do. What is this? Oh. <laughs> what was that? Sorry. Couldn't hear you over the... Uh, the bolt that's lodged in your fucking mouth. Let's see how far this thing can shoot. Nice. I am happy with that. That is good. And at this point, I'm kind of just wandering the grounds to see what all has changed. I'm curious about the uh, priest I saw back there with the lava blood. Because that's, that's like lava, right? Kind of. Bet it hurts me if I touch it. Don't mind me. I'm just refilling real quick. Oh, okay. Some of y'all got an upgrade. That's a bit concerning. Got him. Good thing is you can see him from literally miles away. That was... A bad time to say that. Fuck you. Oh, K. 
Okay. Refill, please. Knock! Loose! I'm kidding, there's there's nothing around here to loose them on. There's a shitload of ammo around here and not a shitload of creatures. But I think the thing that kind of balances it out is how long it takes for you to reload and load and refill on ammo. What is this grotesque amalgam of bone and malice? It appears to be a profane idol. I've only ever read about them in books. Though such magics died long ago with the master, I cannot help but feel its presence somehow drains me of life. I like it not, especially since it is blocking the road to the village. It would be best if it were destroyed. There we go. That was easy. I made such a big deal out of that dude. Good, okay. And let me go ahead and pray real quick. Just while I'm here. I probably could keep going with my health a little damaged, but why would I when I don't have to, you know? Well, there's some tomfuckery going on over here. Can you not? No. No, I don't. I was trying to talk to the guy. If... I assumed for some reason he'd be able to talk to me. No big deal. Got him. Fog obscures my vision. I cannot see from whence they come. Oh, fuck! Okay. Assholes. There we go. Alright. Let's reload real quick or refill. Um, what are you guys still doing alive? Please enter the village. Seek help from Elder McGrath. Though his opinion of our order is not the highest, surely you cannot wish to see us all slaughtered. I'm not so sure about that. These Christians are competitive. Brother Silence, God is merciful this day. It seems that Brother Philip's reports of glowing eyed assailants was not the work of madness. I suppose in a, in a fashion he is merciful. Seeing as he has not fucked up your shit. Oh, no, 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 fuck. See, I wasted... I didn't waste anything except my own time. But still, I'm a little mad about it. Now, let me get the arrow. Then I'll heal here just for good measure. With my brothers. Let us go. Into the village. Okay. This looks arena-like. Why does this look arena-like? I don't trust it. Yeah, I was right to not trust it. Oh, no I wasn't. It's empty. Okay, anyway. Let's move on. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're the bad guy, aren't you? A monk here at my doorstep? How unexpected. Have thou come to beseech my aid as if I were not already privy to thy blasphemous crimes? Twas my grandson that has gone missing, the last of the McGrath line. Baker Sykes claims it was one of your own made off with him in the dead of the night. The hidden gods have granted my son strength to end your infernal order. Oh boy. But my old bones have plenty of strength to end just you. Prepare to meet your god, silent monk. What are you gonna do? Hit cane me? Fuck off. Yeah, 
That's what I thought, bitch. Santa Claus fucking wannabe coming up on me. How did you get back to your chair? I didn't put you there. Okay. Seems like that was a bit extreme, Brother Silence. Maybe we didn't have to go that far, but... You do you, I guess. As long as you're happy. He came through the wall. That doesn't seem fair. Is that so? See, I know, like, I probably could use the shove mechanic. Yeah, I can shove them away, but I haven't really needed to up to this point. I'm not shitting on the game for that. I'm just pointing it out so nobody thinks I'm missing it. Okay, it looks like we're good, for the most part. Unless one of them manages to surprise me. This is all fenced in. So, where do I go from here? This way? This way. Okay. Oh, someone. Hello. Oh, well, I guess I can't hit you from there. I found the limit of the crossbow's range. Oh. Okay. Probably shouldn't have... Ha! <laughs> Doesn't matter, because he's a terrible fucking shot. There we go. Okay. Oh, so are you. You should have got me. Like, of all the people that should have got me, you really should have got me. I guess I'll find out. Yes. Okay. Let me heal. Let me pray to this ammo crate. Oh, Lord and Savior, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Give me the strength to kill all these people. Terminator style. Forgot I was writing for a horror outlet. Or recording this for a horror magazine for a second. Or I would have said Bruce Campbell. Fuck you. Okay, up I go. Man, these guys really suck. He says right before he misses. The comedic timing in this video or what I imagine this video will be it's just great. All right. Let us pray. Dear Lord, may I not go out like a bitch? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's not... What? No, don't turn around. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's fine. Let me just... You guys just hang out there for a sec, okay? Here, just give me, give me a sec. There we go. Is it... Is, wait, hold on. You see that? You guys see that, right? Where did he go? Did he go under the fire? At any rate, it looks like I've got some time to reload, so... Where'd you go? Hey, big guy. Sun's getting real low. I, do I have to kill you? I probably don't have to kill you. Now look who is in the mist being a harbinger of doom itself. Why do you guys get slower when you get closer? It's 
It's a bit counterintuitive, yeah? Oh, okay, you're you're actually good. Okay. Let me, let me pray. Has he come out from underground? I don't believe he has. That's fine. He just got trapped into the map. You know, as you do, shooting me from hell itself. What time is it? Okay. I got some time. I'm on a bit of a tight schedule, you see. Alright. What? Did that not hit you? That should have hit you. Alright, I'm just gonna stand down here where you can't get me. Cool? Cool. There we go. Now that was a perfect shot, if I've ever seen one. Ah, that's the other guy. Wait, did I not kill him? It was my effort for naught. I'm going the right way, right? Am I supposed to go back this way? Yeah, I feel like I am. You weren't there before. <laughs> Losers. Okay. Alright. Got him. His view is still obstructed by that tree, I believe. There we go. Alright, refill time. Also, I kind of hate that I only have room for five arrows. So if I want a full quiver, I've got to refill again after I reload the crossbow. I mean, it's the game doing what it's meant to do. Making the survival horror challenge even trickier. But, still. There's your idol. Ah, fuck. Okay. You actually got me. This is a slower game than I kind of expected it to be. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. Time to go. Let's run this way. Because I need ammo. Probably need to heal. That'll do. Okay, I got time. I got time. Yeah, sure did. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I did actually reload my crossbow. The door to the church is open. I feel like we're coming up on the end here. Okay, hey. Fucking relax. Okay, is there a reason I can't hit you all of a sudden? There we go. Fucking chew on that piece of shit. Alright. And we'll heal. I'm being shot at, but I don't know from where, so I'm gonna assume it's okay. Or maybe even something that glitched. Ah, oh, fuck. There we go. That's what I wanted. And now I can refill off our broken the idol. Make sure we always top up. No, hey, okay, that's fine. Unless you cut me off at the end, which you did not. And I'm very thankful for that. Oh. Thing I will say that this game has going for it is absolutely the imagery. That is amazing. I'm good. Brother Silence! Thank heaven you're here. 
I was after the Black Relic, same as you, and tracked the fiends to this abysmal tunnel. But they ambushed me here in the dark and left me for dead. You must retrieve the relic and save us all. I feel like there's not much left of you guys to save, but I'll do my best, I guess. There we go. You're done. Ah, oh, God. My neck hurts. I don't like that. There we go. It's that taken care of. Maybe this is just the way I'm playing it, but it's like half the game is performing slow, monotonous tasks, and the other half is like trying to make sure that you can trying to make sure that you time the slow, monotonous tasks correctly in order to make sure that you can kill all the bad guys before they bring your health bar too low. And it's not bad by, like, hands off the keyboard, right? It's not bad by any means. The visuals are great, the story's good. I feel like it's going to end in a kind of weird, crazy place, which I appreciate. But I'm... I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would, at least so far. And that's kind of a shame. We'll see. Oh, okay. Actually, let's get a little sneak peek. Maybe. Oh, God, what? Ah, uh, almost had it. Try it one more time. Okay, meme's dead. It wasn't funny anyway. Here's where I want to be. Brother Silence. Yeah. It's the lead priest. I cannot say I am surprised. But my shock was all spent when I saw the lifeless body of my son here. It matters no longer. Oh no, it's not the priest. The hidden gods whisper to me. Promise his resurrection in return for your lifeless heart. Come now. You will not find me as easy a prey as this child. We'll see, man. I haven't had a whole lot of trouble with most of the shit here yet. Yeah, the controls are fucking me up now. Okay. And he did, like, no damage. Did you guys see that? That was so easy! Why was that so easy? After 500 years, my family's curse finally ends. With these words, I cast off my holy charge. With my betrayal, I have destroyed the Holy Order, and with this sacrifice taken by my own hands, the blood of three generations dedicated to the old ways, I do blaspheme the Holy Trinity. The ritual is complete. May the Nephilim rise once again through me. Okay. All right. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was good. That was good. I can't I can't be mad about that, man. All right. I'm going to save my thoughts on this for the end. Um I'm going to go ahead and exit. We'll go ahead and I can't, I can't talk. I'm going to save my thoughts on that for the end. I'm going to go ahead and transition you there. Now, Trin Just kidding, I'm not Anthony Fantano. Transition! Would you give this album a listen? Did you love it? Hate it? How did? How would you rate it? 
I even fucked it up. I'm definitely not Anthony Fantano. And the camera's still doing the fucking thing it was doing earlier. So, that was Dread X Collection The Hunt. Um, I enjoyed both games that I played. There are, I believe, seven games available. They seem to be longer than the average Dread X Collection games. That might be why it's a little bit shorter than the other uh, collections I've played. Or at least why it seems longer. It may also seem longer because of technical difficulties on my end. Having to re-record that one game was not a lot of fun. I don't enjoy having to do that. Um, but let me go ahead and give you my thoughts on the games. The first game, Rose of Meat, I thought was brilliant. It's probably one of my favorite Dread X games I've played ever. It was so surreal, and the random generation of objects, enemies, pretty much fucking everything in the game except scripted events made it unpredictable even playing through on my second time. I do think that there can be the issue of RNG when you're playing through some of the tougher portions of the game, the stuff where you actually do have to play it like it's survival horror, but I didn't have a lot of difficulty even getting through when I got bad RNG, and it was tense. Like, it was fucking super tense as a result, because I had no idea what was going to pop up around me or whether or not I was going to be able to make it through. The mythology of the island is something that I found captivating. The characters that are there are very entertaining, especially Dick, especially Mother. Um, Dick had a sense of humor to him that I really liked. I don't know, I didn't read everything that he said because I just treated him like a tutorial bot. And a lot of the time when I was talking to him, I was running away from something big, something, you know, gesticulating in the background that I didn't want to deal with. So I didn't read everything that he said, but hopefully you guys caught it. He had some really funny comments throughout the game. Um, I really enjoyed that little subtle touch. The way that Paul Bunyan, uh, which is the only way I remember him, the way that he moved, um, the role that he played in the story I thought was really creepy, kind of fantastic. And Rose, who we never know by name, but I'm assuming is the woman we see on the beach, I kind of wonder what her whole deal is, because the whole island seems to worship her and yet she seems like she's trapped there. She's stranded there. And then, of course, there's the ending, which implies that it's all a figment of the protagonist's imagination anyways, and that Rose essentially maybe created everything on the island with her own imagination. Maybe she's like supposed to be some kind of mirror to the protagonist so that he can understand the truth of the experience he's having. I don't know. It's surreal. It, it might mean fucking nothing, but it's crazy, and it's awesome, and I love it. The second game was less fun, Black Relic. I, d I don't hate it. I thought it was pretty good still. Uh, but I had some issues with the controls being clunky. I had some issues with enemies being far, far too easy to deal with. And the reason why they were easy to deal with, I think, is because the controls were intentionally clunky. It was supposed to be something that put pressure on you to time everything out perfectly so you could kill the enemies before they killed you. And it kind of works. Um... I, the thing is, I never really had any trouble with dealing with any of the enemies. It felt repetitive to me. It felt kind of boring. Especially the bosses. Holy shit. The two bosses in the game. I laid out the first one with, what, three crossbow bolts? And he never even really got close to hurting me. And then the second one hurt me once, cut off, like, a very thin slice of my health, and then he was dead in five crossbow, sh crossbow shots. So, I mean... It's cool story, very cool story. Love the story, love the art style, but the gameplay itself I found a little bit lacking. Um, I kind of find myself wishing almost that ammo had been more scarce because I think in a lot of large arena type areas in the level, there were two or three ammo boxes just kind of scattered throughout. I really wish that wasn't the case. <sighs> I wish there was only one, and it was like as close as, to, as close to the creatures as possible. I think that would have made it a little bit more difficult for me to refill when I needed to and put a little bit more stress on me as the player. And there are other things, you know, like every little thing taking fucking ages is annoying, but it's an acceptable game mechanic if you pace it correctly. I mean, if you, like, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's acceptable if everything else in the game is kind of a response to that. And 
I thought here that that was mostly true. I just kind of wish that the game didn't feel like a chore. But overall, I still really liked it. I'd play it again. I'd play something else from this developer because it was really fucking cool. So yeah, um, I only played two games from Dread X The Hunt because uh, this is already going to be an hour-long video and I don't need to upload something that's two hours long after I come back from like a two-month hiatus. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing more of this type of stuff. Um, I am planning on playing mainly indie games for the channel for a little while. I think that's the format that suits us best. But if there's an indie game that you want us specifically to play, let us know in the comments. If you had problems with anything in this video, let us know in the comments. We're always working to improve ourselves. We want these videos to be better for you guys. At any rate, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.